Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you my favorite Decky Loader plugins for the Steam Deck. Keep in mind, I've been using my Steam Deck for over a year already, and I know I'm kind of late to Decky Loader. I decided to go ahead and do it now since I have a new SSD. And I gotta say, this makes your Steam Deck a lot better. Okay, so this is something that I really recommend to anybody out there that gets a new Steam Deck. This is amazing, and even if you don't haven't done it by now, I recommend to actually consider doing it because it's really cool. I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite plugins here, but first, let's go and show you guys how to actually get it done, how to install it on your Steam Deck, right? So first of all, we wanna to go to desktop mode, right? We're gonna to go to desktop mode here, switch to desktop mode. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using my keyboard. I'm gonna be using my mouse, that way I don't put my fingerprints here on the screen, okay? Um, here we have this uh, desktop, right? So the first thing we wanna do is, if you haven't done a username password, go ahead and do it now. Most likely you haven't done it. So all you gotta do is hit the settings button right here. If you don't see that, you could go ahead over here and go to systems, right? settings and open it up right there right but most of the times it's going to be right here i'm gonna zoom in that way we can have a better view of the screen so once you go here right go to set users go to users here you're gonna see this option it's gonna look just like this right if you've never done it or even if you've done it and you don't remember your password just click here change password and create a new password you gotta do one then confirm it and that's it once you hit okay boom it's done that's all you got to do here right we close go ahead and close now go ahead and open your favorite browser i'm using um, chrome because it's my favorite browser on every device i'm gonna leave these links in my descriptions but i already have it um, saved in my bookmarks so we're gonna hit decky loader and here we're gonna go down right here we got decky loader and the download button make sure you hit that is gonna download automatically. Um, it's going to download automatically to your download files. Let's go and close once you finish downloading. We're gonna go ahead and open the Explorer over here, the section. Uh, we're gonna go to Downloads and it's right there, okay? Double click it. You're gonna have the option to execute. And uh, here, continue. Okay, that's gonna open up and right here, you're going to enter the password that you just created, okay? The password that you just created. Once you hit okay, it's gonna do the installation. I'm not gonna do it right now because I already did it. But once you hit okay, it's gonna do the little tiny installation and you're done. Just hit close. Once you're done, close everything. We are done here. So now we're gonna go ahead to back to gaming mode, okay? So let's go back to gaming mode. Let's go wait for this to load up. Okay, so now that we are back here to gaming mode, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click right here, this button, and now if we go all the way down here in the last option, you're gonna see it says Decky. And these things right here are the things that I actually downloaded, which so far are my favorite plugins. Uh, to download one of these, all you gotta do is go ahead here, right? And it's going to open up like a little Decky app store. And here are all the options you can choose to download. Everything that you see here, you can choose to download. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to download anything or install it. I recommend to actually read into them if they actually benefit you to download it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and download the web browser. Click install. And that's it. That's all you gotta do to install any of these things that you see right there. Once you install it, like see right there, it's gonna add it right there and you're done, right? You can get out of here, you don't need that. So now let's say you want to uninstall any of these plugins that you didn't like after installing it. All you have to do is go ahead here, right? To go to settings. It's gonna open up this right here. You're gonna go to plugins. And here you're gonna look for the one that you just installed, which in this video, I did the web browser, right? So I could go click right there and just click uninstall. Boom, it's going to uninstall. It already did because these things are very tiny, so don't expect a whole bunch of loading time. And that's it, like you see right there, 
the web browser is no longer on your list so now let's go and share you guys my favorite ones these right here that you see are actually my favorite ones steam steam grid db animation changer like you recorder hltb for deck storage cleaner vibrant deck so far those are my favorite plugins i'm going to show you guys how they work first of all steam grid db what that does is like for example sometimes you install a game or an application and the art actually looks very very bad or it's all blank or you, you just don't like the art style right so here i'm going in my library i'm going to go ahead and look for a, a game right that i don't like the art style uh for example star wars right there right like you see with that it looks very ugly and there's a lot of games that you install that actually look like that or even worse sometimes they don't even have anything so all you got to do is click options right click here this option right there change artwork that's going to appear once you install the plugin click right there then it's going to take you right here it's going to give you a couple options of choices you could choose for your cover so i can go ahead for example choose this one right here right for my cover right there then you got the options to change the wide capsule the wide capsule i'm going to choose i'm going to go and choose this one right the cool thing is that you can go ahead and through them and there's a lot of awesome art that people create here that you can choose as your you know hero wide capsule and everything so i'm going to use my hero i'm going to put it right there choose that that's the art style that come up when you open the application there's like a huge art that's the one i chose here we're going to go and choose the logo like see there's a couple options there for logo i'm going to choose that one and icon that's the icon that appears when you're in settings right i'm going to choose this one and that's it so once you, you click over here you can actually see all the art that you chose for the game right here so now if we go back to the game right let's go back to the game dun, dun. Oh, back here and there you have it look at that now it has an awesome art very awesome and when you open up that's the hero art that we chose that's awesome and that's something that i use a lot because like i said a lot of times you install games or applications and they don't have a art and that's how you do it so that's the one one of my favorite ones the other one is animation changer animation changer what it does click right there and click right here what it does is that you can actually create here or change the or uh the animation when it boots up when it suspends like let me go ahead here and choose for by most popular this gets updated a lot okay so here we got a couple options like for example boot if you want your your steam deck to boot like that you could go ahead and change it right let's go and hit download and now it's going to save it to my library you also can choose suspend right if you choose this right here suspend is what happens when you turn it off right let's go ahead and choose let's see choose suspend let me choose one that actually looks different there you go that looks like that let's go one that looks has a little bit more animation this goodbye. One. goodbye and it turns off it's going to turn download that and that's it so we got one and one boot and one suspend so here you have these options right here we're going to use choose boot right here you're going to see all the ones that you have let's go and choose the valve gamecube here we're going to choose uh goodbye the one that we just downloaded so now let's go back out of here if i turn it off goodbye. there you go so it has that option right there if we turn it on oh yes awesome valve gamecube there you go that's an awesome plugin right there the other one that i like is decky recorder decky recorder is really cool because what it lets you do is record gameplay something that you cannot do here on the steam deck so this is awesome because you can either click right here 
and when you want to record something you can go ahead and choose the last 30 seconds or the last minute and it'll go ahead and save it to your video folder on your system so you could do that you can choose to record the last 30 seconds or the last five minutes or you could go ahead and start recording so when you start recording you could go ahead and be navigating around you could be playing a video game and once you finish recording whatever you want you could go up to over three minutes whatever click right here back again and then you're going to hit stop right once you hit stop that video is going to be saved to your video files in desktop mode so you're going to go to desktop mode like you see here in the video and go to the video folder and right there you're going to see all your recordings really awesome and the cool thing is that the video is recorded at 1280 800p so they're actually going to look really really good and their file styles are not going to be that huge as well you can also come here see it by default it's going to be recording at mp4 you go and change it to mkv or mov i chose uh, the default which is mp4 and that's it that's what you do with decky recorder the other one that i like hltb for deck hltb for deck is something really cool for example let's go to remnant when you go to remnant this option right here is added cause of that you can see the time remaining or time to complete a game main story the main story and extras 27.9 Completion is 56 hours, right? Um, and uh, everything to do everything 20 all styles 25.9 You click right here it actually takes you to the website where that information is actually coming from This is actually coming from how to beat how long does it take to beat the game? How long to beat dot com so it takes you here where you can actually see a lot more information so that's what it does to every single game that you download. Okay, let's go to Wonderland. Boom, it appears right there. 16 hours to complete the game. The main story, 26.9. The main and extra. Completion it, 45.8. And that's it. That's another awesome feature. The other plugin that I like is Storage Cleaner. Storage Cleaner, for example, if you ever gone to the storage section right here, you know storage a lot of times these games they install a lot of cash right and for example right here you see that i just have a little bit of yellow but most of the times when you have like uh, when you're using a, the 64 gigabyte version of this uh, you, the, that yellow can be very long and you don't know what the hell is that most of the times that is shaders that are installed when you install the game sometimes when you even uninstall the games those shaders stay there so you click right here like you see there it says it's okay to delete because it will recreate the next time you run the application so it is safe to delete these shaders because once you install um reinstall the game or reload the game it's gonna just go ahead and re-download them but a lot of times there's like games that you don't have been stopped playing and you have like these things occupying a lot of storage so for example right now if i want to delete uh let's go and say delete uh you assess and create unity and i want to delete the fight cry shaders you can see the amount right there and all you gotta do is go back here right go back here in the bottom clear shader and that's it it's gonna delete all the shaders that you have selected that's it that's all it does the other one that i like is a vibrant deck vibrant deck what it is is that it lets you um, adjust the saturation of the colors and adjust the colors of your screen as well and it's very easy so go right here for example you have the option to enable color settings saturation like for example let's go and show you guys the differences all the way up almost all the way up and you're gonna see that the notice the difference is very very noticeable like see that it looks very very vibrant but i just did that that way you guys can see that this actually does work so let's go and lower it down i by default is at a hundred that's the default is a hundred but i put it a little bit more brighter that way the colors can pop a little bit more 115 is good you can actually control the linear gamma advanced settings you can show the green the, the reds the green the blues you can put them a little bit more brighter if you want and that's it 
those are all the plugins that I really like so far that I've been using here on my Steam Deck and then actually makes the Steam Deck a lot better. And I really recommend to do this, especially if you just got the Steam Deck. This is going to actually make the Steam Deck better. So thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.